this is Shahab Din Pizada. Learn English with Shahab. This is the name of my channel. You might sub subscribe it, like it and share it. Today, the most important thing we want to discuss with you is about having conversation. How to have a conversation over the phone. This is part one lesson. And we are going to learn some vocabulary related with the phone conversation. And what happens, most of the students really feel scared while having conversation over the phone in English language. Because the situation is that it becomes really scary while having conversation over the phone because we can't see the uh, physical features and as well as facial expressions of a person and body language you are talking to. That's why it becomes really frightening to talk to a person. But here in this case, we are going to learn some vocabulary that is mostly used on phone conversation. And in the second part, we will learn some situations we are likely to come across. And also finally some examples of how to use what we have learned. The most common expressions, words mostly used in phone conversation are dial. Number one is dial. It means, it's the word which means to enter a phone number in order to call somebody, just dialing a number. To enter a phone to call somebody, right. To ring somebody means to call somebody. Ring somebody, it means to call somebody means making a phone call to someone. To give somebody a ring, also way of calling someone. We can say to give somebody a ring means to call somebody. Then pick the phone up means to answer the phone call. Suppose your phone rings, you pick the phone up, it means you are going to answer the phone call. To hang up means to end, a, end the conversation. To end the conversation, to hang up. It means you have talked to your friend, now you want to end your call, so you can say, you hang up, right. To put someone through means to transfer the calls to another person. Suppose you are working in a company, international company, and you want to talk to your friend who is working with you there. You dial the number, but actually what happens, that person is not there, someone else picks up the phone or the operator picks up the phone, he can ask you, who do you want to talk to? You can say, I want to talk to Mr. David. What will be the answer? He say, yes, I am going to put you through. It means I am going to transfer your call to someone else. Phone somebody means to call somebody. This is also phone is noun as well as verb. And how to have a phone conversation is part two. And in this part, we are going to learn about different situations that we are likely to come across while having a phone conversation in English language. Answering the phone, answering a call. Your phone is ringing and you pick up the phone, right? Means you are going to answer the phone call. You could say, hello. In case of informal situations, we can say hello. But suppose it's a business phone, or somebody is calling you from the company you are working and then you have to say, mention your full name, David or Philip, okay. Asking for another person, suppose you are going to dial the number of a friend and your friend isn't available at the moment and someone else is picking up the phone, you could say, could I speak to Mr. David? Then what will he say? If that person is available at the office, then he could say, yes, I am going to put you through. Means going to transfer your call to someone else you want to talk to on phone. Saying who you are. Who is calling, please? Could I know who is calling, please? This is the aspirations. Means someone dials your number and then you are going to attend the call, pick up the phone and you could ask him, who is calling, please? Right. Asking somebody, asking who somebody is. It means, suppose someone calls you, then you could mention your name. I am Philip. But in this case, suppose if you don't see the, that person physically, you can't see uh, the features of that person, he isn't available, you can't see eye contact, there's no eye contact at all, then in that case, you could say this is Philip. Right. But if you are having a meeting personally and physically you are together, then you could say, I am Philip. But in case you don't see the person, 
you are having no any eye contact with that person and talking on phone, you could say this is Philip. Right. Asking people to wait. Suppose you are having a phone call, but somebody is knocking at the door. Now, what do you have to say? Knocking at the door, it means you could say, hold on a moment, please. Hold on a minute, please. Means, or you could say, could I put you on a hold for a moment, please? This happens in case of formal situations. Dialing wrong numbers. When you dial a number, that's not an appropriate number you want to talk to, but mistakenly you dial the number, then you, you could say, when you dial the wrong number, sorry, I think I have got the wrong number. This is the expression. <coughs> when somebody is knocking at the door, that was previous situation, when you dial the number, sorry, I think I have got the wrong number. Right. When you have other problems like, there can be many problems while having phone conversation, just like uh, the connection is not smooth. Sometimes the connection is not smooth, it is on and off, on and off sometimes, right? Then you could say you are breaking up. It means you can't hear the person properly. What he is going to say, you are not going to, because this happens, uh, connection remains disconnected and connected again. Or would you please repeat? means I want you to say again what you want to say because the connection is not smooth. I got cut off or disconnected. I got cut off or disconnected. Right. So these are all expressions vocabulary related with the phone call, how to attend the phone call, what to say on the phone call. Right. So I think you might have uh, grasped many expressions, especially phone expressions we mostly use in daily conversation if you are going abroad or you are going to call someone in a company, then you need to have a conversation in English language. Please remember that, like my channel, subscribe it, thank you very much.